your CNOS Health Watch on Siouxland News. During the fall sports season, doctors are seeing more cases of knee injuries in athletes. Siouxland News reporter Katie Link talked with orthopedic surgeon Dr. Ryan Meese at CNOS to learn more. The thigh bone is above and the shin bone is below. The kneecap tracks in the front. And if we move that to the sides, we can visualize just a little bit better. Inside the joint, the ACL is this ligament that goes from the thigh bone down to the shin bone. ACL tears are a common injury for student athletes, and cases are on the rise right here in Siouxland. We are certainly seeing a larger number of ACL tears over the course of the past five to ten years, and it's not because they weren't being diagnosed 15 years ago, but it's purely a, a matter of how much people are playing sports. And playing multiple sports means there's more chances to get hurt. Many students play one sport during the week while training for the next season during evenings or weekend. And I would say more of these injuries probably occur from non-contact. It's just making a plant and cutting to change directions and their knee will give out on them. And it might be the same thing that they've done a thousand times before and did not have a problem and just for some reason this is when we see the injury. Dr. Meese says getting treatment quickly is the key to reducing the risk of complications down the road. If it's a simple ACL tear, that is something that we can, we can treat, and we can't fix the torn fragments, but we can reconstruct it. And the term reconstruction is used because tissue must be taken from somewhere else in the body to make a new ACL. Recovering from a torn ACL takes 9 to 12 months. So is there any way to prevent injuries like this altogether? There has been a significant amount of research that has been dedicated to trying to figure out how we can prevent ACL injuries, particularly important in female athletes because of their higher risk of injury. And most of this centers around learning different landing techniques, strengthening activities for legs, a lot of plyometric type activities. We're also encouraging coaches to incorporate it into their standard warm-up drills prior to uh, the practices, again, in the sports that are of the greatest target, uh, basketball and soccer specifically. Katie Link, Siouxland News.